Wait, so how many descendants does Miyamoto Usagi have? Hey, it's James from Dragon Ink Comics. Welcome back. So for any of you who have seen the trailer for the Usagi Chronicles, I'm sure you're as excited as I am. So today I want to talk about all of the different versions of Usagi and five key books that I think anyone who is interested in collecting Usagi Yojimbo should have in their collection. So before we jump into the books, let's talk a little bit about Usagi Yojimbo himself. So when we think about Usagi Yojimbo, we actually are thinking about Miyamoto Usagi. This character appeared in medieval Japan. This character later had a descendant who in the comics was simply referred to as Space Usagi. That character is different than the character who is going to be in the Netflix show, who is Yuichi Usagi, who is also a descendant of Miyamoto Usagi. This is not to be confused with Yukichi Yamamoto, who looks a lot like Yuichi Usagi, but is actually a contemporary of Miyamoto Usagi in feudal Japan. Yukichi Yamamoto first appeared in the IDW uh, series of Usagi Yojimbo number 20. I know, it's confusing. Just watch that part of the video a few times and I think you'll get it. All right, without further ado, let's jump in the books. So I picked five books. I have a lot of Usagi Yojimbo books because I just like the character. These are the books that I think have the best potential for growth. So the first is a big one. This is uh, Albedo number two. This is a 9.2 uh, high grade. There's only about 2,000 of these that are known to exist. Character on the front is Miyamoto Usagi. And uh, this book came out in November of 1984. Uh, it is uh, a Stan Sakai cover, really nice colors. So the prices that I'm gonna quote are from GP analysis. So mid-grade copies of this have been kind of mixed over the last six months. I saw a 7.5 sell for a low sale of 4,800 bucks. I think that was on heritage auctions. And then a 6.5 actually recently sold for 6,000. So they've kind of been up and down. Higher grade copies though have been pretty steady and actually growing in value. So in, um, in January of 2022, uh, there was a 9.2 that sold for 9,900 bucks. And uh, in uh, December of 2021, a 9.6 actually sold for 24,000, which is pretty awesome. What are the positives of this book? It's rare and it's rare and high grade. It has a great cover. You know, you got the first appearance, you got uh, Miyamoto Saji right there on the cover, looking like a badass. Love it. Some of the cons, the price. Uh, a lot of collectors can't afford this book anymore. I was fortunate to get it when it was a little cheaper. The other issue with this book is the staples. So be really careful when you're buying Albedo comics, especially if uh, you're going to get them like cracked, pressed, and regraded. Take a close look at the staples. The quality of the staples used in these early Albedo issues was very poor, and a lot of the issues have staple rust. So in my opinion, if you can get a high grade, I expect those to maintain value and grow slowly over time, regardless of how the show does. If the show does well, I think those mid-grade copies are really going to spike, and the high-grade copies too. Okay, so the next book uh, is one I think a lot of you have seen, and a lot of you may actually already have in your collection, and this is Usagi Yojimbo number one. This is considered the first self-titled issue. It's a very well-known comic. I see a lot of them out there for sale. It came out in uh, July of 1987. I think the fact that it is so recognizable makes it one of the better comics to invest in for the character if you can find it at a reasonable price. 
So this was a big winner in the comic boom of 2021, but it has also cooled off quite a bit. So what do I mean by that? So in uh, June of 2021, the average price for 9.8 was around $2,288 with a high sale of 2,800 bucks. Wow, that's high. So in 2022, 9.8s have cooled down quite a bit. There were two sales that were on record. One was for $1,580 and the other one was for $1,800. 9.6s have been uh, up and down too. So in uh, 2021, there's a pretty wide range of prices, $300 to $900. And in 2022, the average sales have ranged from $350 to $625. So if you can pick up one of these around $1,000 in 9.8, probably a really good price and uh, if you're gonna uh, get a any other lower grade I probably wouldn't go lower than a 9.6 and I'd probably try to shoot for around 300 or 400 dollars positives of this book it's still relatively affordable compared to some other uh, Usagi Ojimbo books or Miyamoto Usagi books recognizable and uh, some of the negatives it's not that rare you know I think they printed probably quite a bit of these and I feel like the price, there's a lot of price volatility. So you got to get in low. On this one, you're going to be a winner on your, your, your starting price. Okay. And that's this really funny image on the back, which I think is just cute. <laughs> okay, so what's the third book? The third book is one, again, a lot of you have seen. This is Albedo number three. This is the second appearance of Usagi Ojimbo. It's not a Stan Sakai cover, it's actually a Stephen Galachi cover, but there is a Stan Sakai pinup on the back, which people do love. I actually think it looks really cool. This is, as I said, the second appearance of Usagi Jimbo. There's a lot of these available on eBay, especially in uh, sort of mid-high grade. And I see the price range of what people are asking for them is pretty wide. So let's take a look at some of the prices from GP Analysis to give you guys a sense of uh, maybe some of the volatility. So this book, like the Usagi Ojimbo number one, a lot of volatility. So in 2021, there were seven 9.8 sales and they ranged from 1020 to $2,000. Pretty big range. In 2022, there were only two sales of this book in 9.8. One was for 837 and then other was for 1260. If you can get this book for under $1,000, I think you would be crazy not to pick it up. Second appearance of Usagi Ojimbo. That's wild. And again, this had a low print run too. These were independent comics. So what are the pros of this book? The pinup on the back is freaking awesome. It's a good time to buy right now. I think it's probably at the bottom. Cons, uh, Usagi Ojimbo is not on the cover, so if you're going to display it, you're probably displaying the back cover. The price has been volatile, which again means that a lot of people are specking on the book. And um, so what's my opinion? Uh, I, like I said, if you can get it in a 9.8, under a thousand bucks, jump on it. If you have to buy a 9.6 or lower, try to get in as low as possible because you know there's a chance that if the netflix show doesn't do well books like this who that have had a lot of volatility are likely not going to continue holding their value or going up similar to books like albedo number two which are uh, much more steady in their prices okay so this one i'm a big fan of this book this is uh Albedo number four. This has the second uh, cover appearance of Usagi Yojimbo or Miyamoto Usagi. It is also um, his third overall appearance and has this really funny penguins in space thing on the back, which you know, you gotta love. So why do I like this book? This book is super rare and high grade, like super rare. I have not seen many 9.8 copies for sale. I purchased this copy last year in 9.8 and it was one of only two sales. So this book came out in uh, July of 1985. 
As I mentioned, there were only two sales, one for $1,300 and one for $1,440. In 2021, I was the $1,440 sale. And then there was a high sale of a 9.6 in 2021 for $7.69. This book, I you know, I don't know if people don't like the cover as much as the number two, but there's just not a lot of sales of it. And uh, maybe there are copies out there that just haven't been graded. But when I see, or I've had collectors reach out to me about this, wanting to buy it from me. So I know there's a demand. I just think there's not a lot of supply. Because this book is relatively rare, I think the prices have remained relatively stable. And I do think there's a huge, huge potential for this book to go up if the Usagi Chronicles does well, because there's going to be an influx of new collectors into all of these books. And because the Albedo series is so limited in print run, the demand is going to far outstrip the supply. So that is that. And uh, so here we're going to go into the last book. The last book is kind of a, an odd one, let's say. But I had a few books to choose from. And I thought, you know, this one really feels like it has the, the best potential to go up. So this is Critters number one. And Critters Number One is another Fantagraphics book. You actually have Usagi or Miyamoto Usagi on the cover. It came out actually before some of these other comics. It came out in um, June, I think, 1986. And it has had, uh, you know, this book is the first appearance of the Rhino character named Gen, who is going to appear or a version of the character is going to appear in the Usagi Chronicles. So that's a plus. That's actually not written here up in the notes, but uh, I do think that eventually you're gonna see that written on the description. This book has a really beautiful, vibrant color. It really pops. So I bought it originally just because I liked the cover and because you had Miyamoto Usagi actually appearing on the cover too, which is really neat. I think it's a, it's a Stance Akai cover as well, which is cool. All right, so this book is tougher to find in 9.8. There are a few for sale out there, but uh, most copies that you'll see for sale are of lower grade. So in 2021, the average sale for a 9.8 was around 588. There's been no 9.8 sales in 2022. And then there were five 9.6 sales in 2022 already, and they range from 128 to 250. So what are the pros of this book? It's a great cover. You got Miyamoto Saji on the cover. First appearance of Gen the Rhino. Hard to find in 9.8. Um, but uh, still, I, there's a few out there. There's one on Eevee, I think, for like 650, if you really want one. <laughs> Uh, cons, it, it's a little, it's a little obscure. So you're, you're kind of digging deep here. You know, I think for this book to really go up, uh, Miyamoto Osaji and Osaji Ojimbo, you know, is really going to have to pop. I think there is some investment potential. And I think if you get in at the right price and you just hold, this is one that may continue to slowly climb over time. It really hasn't gone down in value at all. Like some of those other books I showed you. So those are my, my top five. Uh, Usagi Ojimbo or Miyamoto Usagi books. I hope all of you have enjoyed uh, this video. So I did get, uh, many of you probably saw this, I had a like a ganglion cyst drained over here. Uh, this wasn't from cutting my wrist after watching uh, Morbius, which uh, if any of you have seen it, uh, I think my opinion is pretty obvious right there. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, it's been, uh, it's been fun and I Looking forward to the Usagi Chronicles. Happy hunting.